Valentine's Day, everyone. I put on, or I guess late Valentine's. You're watching this like probably a week after Valentine's Day, but I put on my all pink comfy outfit. I'm just hanging out at the house today. I thought I would do a uh, spend the Valentine's Day with me. So it's Sunday. It's freezing cold outside. We're going to have a relaxing chill day. Just made the bed, all the good stuff. I'm going to go make a coffee, bring you guys along. I'm wearing this full cute 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 pink outfit from princess polly i'll link it i got this a while back in a haul and i absolutely love these joggers they are so good they're like a really nice like thick waffle material super comfy and i own no color so when i went in my closet and found this little pink outfit i was like oh my gosh i need to put this on for valentine's day so let's go make a coffee step number one obviously i wanted to vlog today like a little valentine's day in my life because obviously i have a valentine but I feel like Valentine's Day is more than just like you can only celebrate it if you have like someone in your life that you love or whatever. I feel like it's more more than that and I just kind of wanted to show you guys like you can have yourself a little day. I am literally here by myself. I've been by myself for like three days now and um, I'm still going to have myself a great day. Do all the things that I love, self-care, self-love, all of that. So starts with a coffee. Put on a cute outfit to help boost my mood. I'm kind of like eh, blah lately just because I've been a little bit upset. We're gonna go make a coffee. Happy Valentine's Day. New cups from Amazon, you guys need them. I will link them. They are so cute, so good. And I think they're only like $7. Like, are you kidding me, you guys? You need to make this, it's the best coffee ever. And then I just have this little stir stick because the white mocha always gets stuck at the bottom. Okay, little setup. I'm gonna hang out on the couch for a little bit. I have the fire going. I'm gonna look at my phone. I haven't really been on my phone yet today and uh, just kind of like check social media, email, stuff like that. Even though it's Sunday, I kind of like to get on top of my work, but this is my little setup. Dylan sent me flowers yesterday. I think I talked about it in the last vlog, but I literally, <laughs> I cried when he sent them to me because I was so, I thought it was so sweet. Dylan's in Colorado and I'm here if you're new. I'm gonna eventually be in Colorado, but as of right now, <laughs> I'm in Raleigh. Look at how cute that dog is. Oh my goodness. And you got your Valentine's toys. That's so cute. brunch for one i made some potatoes bell peppers onion bacon and then i put an egg on top tomato and green onion this is like one of my favorite breakfasts. dylan and i always make it on the weekend so i decided to make it for myself i'm going to enjoy this my at home valentine's day brunch for one if i had some champagne i would pop it <laughs> i have a huge water this is the best part you guys when the yolk runs all into the potatoes like that's a must this is one of my go-to breakfasts. my dad makes it all the time so it reminds me of home and you have to put the fresh tomatoes and green onion on top that like tops it off chef's kiss winnie do you want to come join me for brunch okay <laughs> now I think I'm gonna go run an errand really quick. I need to print out some labels and I also need to return some stuff at Free People. I did a little Free People haul and I got like two things that I actually need to take back. So the return date is like coming to a close. So I think I'm gonna go run and do that really quick. I'm gonna do my skincare, 
thought I would show you guys. Obviously, I just recently added sunscreen into the mix, which I've been loving, the Elta MD sunscreen. I'm realizing how important it is, so been doing this. I do like a big pump. Make sure that you're doing enough sunscreen that it's gonna cover, obviously, every part on your face. And then I do like also a big chunk of moisturizer. Okay, that might've been maybe a little too much, but I do it all over. Okay, y'all, yeah, it was too much. Don't mind me just washing off the excess sunscreen. I also have both of their under eye like brightening sticks. So I have the rose glow and then I just have the glow. I think I'm gonna do the rose glow today because it's Valentine's and this is pink. <laughs> And then I literally don't even wear any makeup these days. Just letting my skin breathe and stuff. I feel like if you have really good glowy skin, it kind of speaks for itself. So I don't want to put a ton of makeup on. I do have a little breakout here. Well, it was a breakout and then I picked it and now it's been a scalp on my forehead for like it's quite some time. I blew out my hair with the Dyson Airwrap like two days ago and now it's just like the blowout's gone, but I always like to, even if I'm gonna keep my hair up, I like to put a dry shampoo. This is the Orbe. Hands down the best dry shampoo ever. It is a little pricey, but I've been thinking more and more about getting um, a row of extensions in just to thicken up the bottom of my hair. I feel like every time I style my hair, it ends up going up because I don't like how it looks down because the ends are so sad. So I don't know, we'll see. I've been thinking about it lately, but that's the look for today. We are going to change into something a little bit warmer and head to the Free People store. There's also a crate and barrel, so who knows? We might treat ourselves today on Valentine's and let ourselves walk through crate and barrel. We are moving, so I probably shouldn't be buying anything because we have to literally move it across the freaking country, but little things here and there is all right, maybe. My mom's watching this like, Rachel, stop buying stuff in Raleigh. I still sometimes look at my hand and I'm like, oh my gosh, when I see a ring on my finger, I'm like, oh, hi. We are wearing a sweat set that I wear far too much, but I'm obsessed with it. It's like the best fitting sweats in the world, Cherry LA. They make literally the best athleisure sweat sets ever. I'm also wearing a little top from them, which is super cute. So we've got sweats, little low all white Jordans. I have the sweatshirt. I'm going to grab my bag. Super comfy. I was going to get kind of dressed cute, but you know what? It's raining out and I'm like, no, not today. <laughs> Just got back from the mall. Really quick trip, but I did pick up three little things I wanted to share. I went to a few home stores just because I was maybe getting some inspo for the new apartment or house or whatever the case is for that. I did find these really cute lamps. I think I took a clip and they are so cute. They're, they're from Crate and Barrel. I obviously didn't get them, but I took a picture of the tag because I was going to look at them online. Super cute, but I did get this little milk oatmeal bath soak from pottery barn smells really really nice and i was super in the mood to take a bath like i've been in the mood to take a bath which i have not done in this place yet so i thought that getting these would be good my body's been kind of sore recently so i think this will be nice i'll link all this stuff and then i also went to nordstrom i splurged on two nest candles which if you have not smelled any nest candles they are amazing and i had some nordstrom notes so i basically got one of these for free because i bought my dyson air app through nordstrom so i got a lot of points from that but anyways i think that this is one of their new scents this one is so freaking good you guys cedar leaf and lavender i'm gonna burn this tonight when i take a bath such a relaxing scent and i don't know i've been burning my bath and body works candles and the one i'm currently burning is kind of giving me a headache i think it's a little bit too sweet or like an artificial kind of scent so i think i'm gonna toss that because it's like almost gone anyways and start burning one of these new nice candles um i normally love bath and body works but for some reason the candle it's giving me such a bad headache so i'm gonna stop burning that i burned it all day yesterday while i relaxed at the house 
and it gave me such a bad headache. So, so I think I'm gonna burn this one tonight. So that's everything that I got. I also met one of you guys. I'm blanking on your name because I'm literally the worst with names, but thank you for saying hi. You are the sweetest. And what else? I think we're gonna make chocolate covered strawberries and then take a bath. It's around like four something now. So we're gonna make some chocolate covered strawberries and watch maybe like some type of TV show or movie or something tonight in bed by myself with Winnie but I want to take a bath as well but while I'm in the bath the chocolate covered strawberries can go in the fridge so I think we're gonna do that first and then bath really quickly I wanted to some adult billing things that nobody enjoys doing at least I don't it's my least favorite part of growing up <laughs> chat about upstart super quick and thank them for working with me in today's video if you have not heard of upstart it is a lending platform designed to improve access for affordable credit i love how upstart thinks of their clients customers whatever you want to call them um, as more than their credit score the older you get the more you realize how important like your credit score is and how just like you guys know the drill. And I like how Upstart kind of looks past that because let's be honest, let's be real. Everyone has had a tough year and I feel like credit card debt or just like debt financially, like as a whole, as a topic, nobody really likes to talk about or chat about because they either feel like it is embarrassing. No one really just like wants to talk about it because you don't just like sit around and discuss like if you have debt or whatnot. It's a really nice feeling once you get control of it. So Upstart, that's their goal. They want to help you get your credit card debt, basically all your debt in general under control. Most people have that one credit card that they just don't want to look at the balance of and whatnot. And Upstart is here to financially help you get on top of it and start paying off that credit card debt. Upstart is a fast and easy way to get a personal loan to pay off your debt and it is done all online which is really super helpful. So whether you're trying to pay off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, literally over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple fixed monthly payment. And you can get approved the same day and can receive funds as fast as one business day. With a quick five minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans from $1,000 to $50,000. So if debt is taking over your life, it is time to get a fresh start with Upstart. I'm not kidding kidding getting control of your debt and stuff is one of the best feelings in the world and having feeling like you have your financial situation under control so if you are someone struggling with it definitely check out upstart you can find out how upstart can lower your monthly payments starting today if you go to upstart.com slash rachel if you go to the description box i will have the url and don't forget to click on that one use that one and let them know that i sent you again upstart.com slash rachel loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application again thank you upstart for sponsoring today's video definitely definitely check them out if that's something that you struggle with or are struggling with so now i'm gonna finish doing some computer stuff super quick that I forgot that I needed to have done today, paid off today, things like that. And then we're going to make chocolate covered strawberries. <laughs> Literally, you guys, my favorite dessert is chocolate covered strawberries like at our wedding. I don't even know if we're going to have a wedding cake. We're going to have like a chocolate covered strawberry table, I swear. I'm obsessed with them. I make them all the time. So I feel like I've kind of mastered how to make a good chocolate covered strawberry so i've already washed all the strawberries and you want to make sure that they are completely dry if you have like wet strawberries obviously it's not going to work out chocolate i think i'm going to use the white chocolate today that's what i'm feeling but i also have these chocolate chunks from trader joe's that are really good and then i have a bowl to melt the chocolate i do 30 second intervals in the microwave and then i mix every single time if you do longer the chocolate tends to burn you can also Add in coconut oil if you want to like make the chocolate a little bit thinner or runnier, but I don't have any. And then a plate. And then also I always wrap the plate in aluminum foil and then I let them harden on the aluminum foil. And then once they're hard, I take them off and put them on the platter. So it looks a little bit nicer. It's like literally so self-explanatory, but I feel like there's two key things. 30 second intervals for the chocolate and then make sure that the strawberries are clean and super, super dry. Oh, here you are. Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind I made 
eight of them and I'm going to probably eat them all on my own. So I'm gonna put them in the fridge for a little, do not put them in the freezer. If you freeze strawberries for literally such a short time, they'll start to get watery and then they're just like not good. So put them in the fridge, let them sit hard and cool, whatever. I'm gonna take a bath, relax, and then I'll have these like for dessert later. In the bathroom. I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention. So you were saying, oh no. so nice i don't know why i don't take baths more often i have like a relaxing music playlist playing key to a good long bath for me is a cup of ice water i have some lemon ice water in here because sometimes i get really really hot and it makes me want to get out early but if i have some like nice ice water it keeps me like feeling good and then also stay in longer which i love out of the bath got some strawberries here i'm about to upload our moving announcement video well not upload i'm about to make it public i'm gonna turn on some netflix i don't know what to watch i've been watching Grey's anatomy and i kind of want to keep watching that but i kind of also want to watch a love movie so we'll see but i'm all cozied up in here i'm like yelling at winnie to come in here but she loves the living room so just wanted to show my Chocolate covered strawberries, they look so yummy. When we hit her, right, it's already looking up from here. You're gonna wanna take your dry shampoo. Just really get in there. Okay, we're going to end off today's video. Just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Happy late Valentine's Day. And thank you, Upstart, for sponsoring today's video. Check them out. Everything will be linked down below. I love you all. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next vlog.